Hey guys, it's Chris, A12 Guitars, what's going on? And I've got a beautiful Seagull acoustic here, one of the older ones from I think the late 90s, early 2000s. These are the ones with the really beautiful bottom low tone to them, which are freaking fantastic. I mean, you know, this is a great alternative to a Martin. But in any case, we're back over here on the nut. I know, we keep talking about this, and as you can see, this one was a little bit tall, and you can see how much I cut the other guy. Now... Here's a simple explanation. I don't know how many times I've done this, but please try to keep up. So, when you're checking the height, I know there's like these weird devices that they make and people try to use feeler gauges. Let me tell you, all that is a waste of time. Here's the way you want to do it. And this is the way it's been done for, I think at this point, hundreds of years. Hold the second fret. All right. Now, we're going to check for our height right here. You hear that? That piano tone? That tells us we're at the correct height. We're at about maybe half the diameter of that string. Now, what's the difference of when it's too high? Well, let's take a look. Here's our B string. Take a look. Look at that much jump. See that? Yeah. Now, listen. Here it's dull. Here's the E string. It's dull because by the time it releases, the flesh of my finger is muting the string. Whereas here, it releases so fast, we get a little tink sound, all right? That's it. Now, after that, it is actually having the skill of being able to cut the nut slot itself, which is its own little trick. But that's for another day. Anyway, guys, take care. Chris A12 Guitars. Have a good one, folks.